Aleppo is a beautiful, the most populated city in Syria and the most pro prestigious because it's the capital of finance, capital of industry, and the most cosmopolitan uh, region in Syria. Uh, Aleppo, uh, uh, one third of Aleppo has been declared a world heritage. The ancient souks, it means the ancient market, uh, the, uh, the fort of uh, Aleppo, the citadel of Aleppo, and many other beautiful sites like mosques, shrines, etc. Aleppo, and what I say can be scientifically proved, did not participate in the uprising. When I say like this, it means that among the five millions of Alipinos, maybe few thousand had something to do with the uprising. Okay? It means Aleppo remained tranquil and normal during the whole period of the events. Suddenly, after the collapse of Homs uprising and Damascus, or we, let us say battle, Homs battle and Damascus battle, the uh, rebels opened the battle of Aleppo. I will tell you what I have heard from living witnesses. Uh, a prelate, a bishop in Aleppo told me this very day, Mother, we are invaded by foreigners. Fighters coming through Turkey and from the villages north of Aleppo. They entered and they invaded and they imposed themselves to the civilian population. I can show you videos where entire families was killed in a terrible way because they didn't want to collaborate. They told them, do not enter to our Salah al -Din neighborhood. They were killed. Most of the inhabitants of those uh, streets, they left. And what do they do? Those rebels, they enter in houses because they use the buildings as blockhouse, and they open from uh, apartment to another apartment holes, you know, in the walls, so that they have a line, Magino line, and they perform their attacks. So one day, another day, and they attacked everywhere. Yesterday, we have our bishopric, the beautiful 17th century bishop house in, Ale in Aleppo, was bombed by the rebels, and one of our priests is gravely injured. So not only they are there and they see if the uh, uh, legal forces were attack them, they attack everybody. And they spread violence every, everywhere, as they have done in, the, in Homs. And moreover, because the Alipino uh, population did not support them, they wanted to retaliate, so they burned the markets, the beautiful 13th century market of Aleppo. 17 kilometers of market, old market, have been totally burned because the merchant of Aleppo told them, we will not support you. And this prelate told me, if Aleppo, the population, was supportive of the rebels, we would, wouldn't have the necessity of any war they would have win, you see. But why is there a war? Because the, uh, the, the population is not with the rebels, I have to say it. If you have 1,000 or 2,000, it's not that the, all the population is making the uprising. We want, and what we say is that this uprising is the property of the Syrian people, population. We want reform. We want democracy, more democracy. We want the end of the corruption. We want the reform of the security services. We say that there are errors. We say that it is a massive authoritative uh, uh, regime, etc. But today, I said it yesterday in the parliament. I said, we are in a fate. We are, we are in an impasse. Either we desire, we choose, uh, we have either a regime 
that is outdated, a system that is outdated. Either we have to choose with a Wahhabi-like uh, system. What do we choose? We don't have any alternative because they killed the uprising. You know, the uprising, which should have been democratic, open, liberal, uh, more righteous, uh, you know, bringing real values, has been hijacked. We have terrorists. We don't have something else. You should hear. Please open your YouTube. You have people uh, uh, speaking Arabic. Try to just see what, how they are leading their war. It's only hatred, sectarian hatred. You know, uh, it's something we should not accept, and we should say to the Western world: stop supporting such an uprising.